Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're here in the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania. And today we're going to talk about is data warehousing and data mining. And data warehousing is just the collection of all this data that companies do collect on their clients, on their, you know, their clients, their customers, their suppliers, their competitors. It's all the information we're collecting. For example, when we came into the Serengeti National Park, they copied our passports, they took information where we're from and all these kind of things so they can kind of collect that information. And the thing is the collection the information, the collection of this big data is what's called data warehousing, okay? And so we have all this data. The thing is, we have all this data, but what are we going to do with it? Actually use that data to figure out the trends in that data? That's what's called data mining. So we kind of have this big chunk of data. Imagine a big square full of information, full of, sorry, full of data in there. And we got to figure out what are the trends? What does it really tell us? And so you drill down, you data mine into it to find what are some of the trends? What are some of the things we should be looking into? So for example, here, the uh, the Serengeti National Park will track, hey, where are tourists coming from? What are the ages of the tourists? So they can see is, okay, we see that we've had a big increase in U.S. travelers coming to the Serengeti. So maybe we should advertise even more in the U.S. because it's really resonating with them. So you'll see things like that. A thing in your own life, if you go to the grocery store and you have their like Max card or their super like saver card or something like that, whenever you shop, you swipe your card for those discounts. But they also track what you've been buying, your groceries, your toiletries, all these kind of things and they can actually figure out what should we recommend to them that's why i know when our kids were little we'd go you know buy diapers so we'd have six month diapers then nine month diapers and then we'd notice the coupons they'd send us oh well you know it's like we know you're not going to use the coupons right away so the next set of diapers is the 12 month diapers because they kind of used all that information drilled down and said hey these people have kids so we could try to sell them the, the bigger size diaper, or we might learn that, hey, they want to, they have these little kids. Maybe we let them, we send them a flyer that says, hey, don't forget, we have our special toy sale in December. So come and get your toys here at Meyer or here at Target or something like that. And the thing is for companies, you can really learn a lot. But the thing is, it can be very dangerous as well, because think about it, all that information we collect, if someone else gets it or if we lose it, I mean, that's where privacy concerns come in. Because every time you download an app and say, I accept their terms and conditions, they might be able to take your pictures, your phone information, your addresses, your emails. Well, what do they use with that? What do they do with those things? Well, that's one of the big issues with data warehouses. We got to keep those things private. So you spend a lot of money to protect your data warehouse, to protect that big data. Because the thing is that big data is worth a lot of money. Because if you can figure out those trends, you can figure out what's next. What's the next things my customers want to buy? And so I can develop that product and sell it to them before they even realize it's there, okay? So I hope this helps you kind of understand the difference between data warehousing, that's the collection of the big data, and data mining, which is actually when you mine down and find trends and the real information. What do these numbers actually mean within that data? Anyway, I hope that helps you out. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel, Professor Walters. If you wanna learn more about the Serengeti, check out our other channel, Walters World. And we do all kinds of honest travel videos to help people out travel better. Just like we help students study for exams here, we help travelers study for their future trips. Anyway, wish you all the best. Bye from the Serengeti.